Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to talk about changing a golf club grip in as short a time as possible. I got everything that we need here to, to do the change. Uh, why don't we just take a look basically as, as what I bought here. Uh, odorless mineral spirits. Uh, you can buy that at any hardware store. It was $7.50. Um, this is, well, you need two things here. You need a vise. Um, that should be pretty standard in any sort of home workshop. But this is something that you could buy in any golf store, uh, which is basically the insert uh, to put inside of the vise. And that's going to basically, you know, make it so that you... Uh, that you don't squeeze the club. You know, my first thought was maybe I could just put a towel around it, but you should actually buy one of these. It's only five dollars. Uh, second thing, you know, you could buy the double stick tape, but I bought this at uh, the PGA PGA Tour Superstore. Any golf shop should have it. There's 15 in here. Uh, this was also five bucks. So we're going to be using one of these today. Uh, and then, of course, any grip that you want to use. Um, this is my personal favorite. It's a Golf Pride Tour Wrap. These are uh, four dollars and ninety-nine cents, I think. Um, and this is my favorite grip. And what I'm going to be doing today is regripping this hybrid. Um, this is one of my go-to clubs, and you know I think it's pretty common actually that the clubs that you buy, the stock uh, grip that you get with them, like this one from TaylorMade, tends to wear out pretty quickly. Uh, so this is the one that we're going to be uh, changing today. All right, so let's uh, let's get it all racked up here. Um, most important thing is you want to get it aligned properly. So I'm just going to insert it here first, put it in here, and then put the squeeze on this guy. You don't have to make it too tight, but just make it tight enough so that it's being held nicely. Okay, and that's straight. Okay, next thing is you're going to take your uh, X-Acto knife this is basically a hook blade. I don't know that you necessarily need this. I do have a straight razor blade here, which we're gonna use to actually take the old tape off of the grip once we get this off. But this is a hook blade. You can buy these at any hardware store, also five bucks. So uh, let's take this old grip off. Okay, now inevitably you're gonna have uh, some old grip on here. You have some old tape. And what you're gonna do is I think the best thing to do is just take a regular razor blade and kind of scrape off whatever's here so that all you have left is the shaft. All right, so uh, the hardest part of this is now complete, which is basically getting the old tape uh, off, off the, off the, uh, underneath of the grip once you're finished. So now um, we're ready to basically get, you know, get this thing ready for the new grip. I'm gonna take off your double-sided tape, kind of line up how big this grip is, okay? And basically, uh, you want to just set this up so that a little bit hangs over the top. Okay, just like maybe one inch. Okay, and press this down. This is also not the easiest part, it can take time. Getting the double sided tape off. <laughs> I think I got it there. Okay, not an easy part just happened, which is separating the double-sided tape from itself. And once that's off, just very cleanly make sure this wraps around. Make sure there's a perfect overlap.
then the piece that's hanging off on the end, just get it tucked into the end. Okay? Now, the next part is uh, your mineral spirits, which basically, uh, I think my, my big thing on this piece is uh, don't use too much. I mean, I, I've seen a lot of other videos of people just like pouring this over and over again. You, you do not need a lot. Just maybe put a, like a little bit in your hand and get the grip lubed up. That's fine. You don't need to dump that much more on top of it than that. And then the other part is getting it into the actual grip itself. So it's got a hole in here. And just pour a little bit in there. You do, again, you don't need that much. Okay. And then you're going to basically just cover the hole. Now it's all about just lining it up perfectly. So there's going to be some kind of logo with this Golf Pride one that's here. And this is where the grip makes sure that the face is going in. And that it's all going to just line up perfectly. This is where the vise really comes in perfect. So I've got it all the way down there. And now just sort of make sure that that's perfectly lined up with the face. Okay, and I have a little soft hammer here. Don't even really need that. I see people like pound them on the floor. You know, maybe you can take it off, pound it on the floor a little bit. Make sure you're all lined up gonna make any changes now is the time to do it. Actually make one little change. Then you're ready to go. Enjoy.